Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February 11th of 2022. Well, it is titled IC 342, the hidden galaxy in Camelopardalis. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of a spiral galaxy and a spiral galaxy. We see the distinct spiral arms and the pink colors of star forming regions scattered along those spiral arms. Now, this looks a little bit uh, unusual, perhaps compared to other galaxies in that it's a little more hidden than others. Now it would normally be a very prominent galaxy, but it's hidden because it is blocked by dust. And there is dust within our galaxy that blocks out much of the light, making it harder to see. Now when, gal when dust is present, it does a couple of things to light. First of all, it blocks out the light, making things appear fainter. And of course, if there is enough dust, it can make them invisible. However, if the, uh, the light also does another thing in that it preferentially blocks blue light over red. It is very good at blocking short wavelengths and not as good at blocking the longer wavelengths. So the longer wavelengths make it through and the galaxy will look a little bit redder than the typical spiral galaxy that we're used to seeing, which has a distinct blue color to its spiral arms because of all the hot young blue stars that have formed there. So even though this is uh, enough that it young enough and still has gone undergone star formation in the relatively recent past, it doesn't have that blue color that we tend to associate with a lot of images that we look at on uh, of different spiral galaxies. Now dust is not just confined to our galaxy and the dust that is causing this is part of our own Milky Way. But you can also see the dust within this galaxy as well the dark regions kind of following along the spiral arms are dark dusty areas, which would cause this same effect to other galaxies that is someone in this galaxy happened to be looking out if you were looking out through the plane of the galaxy, you'd be looking through all that dust, making objects in that direction much harder to see. And again, it would make them fainter and it would make them appear redder and with enough dust they would be not visible at all and this is one of the reasons that we use things like infrared light which has an even longer wavelength than visible light to be able to peer into dusty regions giving us a glimpse into them most light won't penetrate the dust but the longer wavelengths of infrared and even radio waves will penetrate through and can sometimes give us a peek into these dusty regions to learn what is happening happening. So that was our picture of the day for February 11th of 2022. It was titled IC 342 the hidden galaxy in Camelopardalis. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.